Hey, what's up everyone? This is Kyle and uh, welcome to another super quick, super easy, very fun, amazing, fast tutorial. Uh, this tutorial we're going to do two things. I'm going to teach you how to do a nice bleach bypass like this you see here in After Effects, which is pretty simple. And I'm going to show you how to save it as a preset in your user presets so that you can use it for all your nice stuff and take them with you wherever you go. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. I'll delete these. And we have this footage here that I shot um, with a camera of some wood for a short film I did. Kind of shaky, not the best. And the color, color grading is pretty flat, uh, but what we want to do is make it a little more interesting. So what we can do is we can go to Layer, New, Adjustment Layer, or Control, Command, Alt, Y. And we'll add some effects to it. So let's go here and we'll do a uh, tint, tiny tint and apply that here and I'm trying to get through this pretty fast because I'm kinda tired and I'm ready to go to bed and uh, so we've only got like 30 seconds left but uh, we're doing pretty good so far so 10 to 25 percent and then we want to add a curves adjustment add that on there and just kinda bring this down here we'll crush the blacks um, and I don't mean that negatively and we'll just kinda tweak these to touch that's not what I want to do let's grab this one so we kind of want to get that effect there, and we'll add another tint to that um, under there, and maybe 10%, and then we'll add a, uh, adjust the curves a little bit more, uh, go into the red channel, and give it a little S curve, and then to the blue channel and just do the opposite to kind of give it um, like that cross process look which looks pretty good as it is we're getting very close to the like the cold I mean that's that's a beach bleach bypass almost as it is but we want to add one more thing a tritone to it and slap that guy on there and change this one to 250 50 press ok and set this down to about 50 percent and whammo we've got our bleach bypass isn't that awesome pretty quick pretty simple and I got through this in like two minutes which I, I actually have no idea because I'm not looking at a clock but um, so what, what we want to use this more than once um, and be able to save time and be able to just click on this easily what well, we can change this make this a user preset so I'm gonna click on our adjustment layer and press UU and select all the effects by clicking them and pressing shift and we'll go to our animation save animation preset to bleach black bleach bypass tut I'll just save it bleach bypass press save or enter and that will save it type in bleach bypass in here right here to use our preset so how do we use that well, we delete this adjustment layer, and we don't have anything selected. We can double click on that, double click on that, and whoa, it's brought up a solid. But what most people don't realize is that solids and adjustment layers are the exact same thing. All they do is have this switch toggled. If you don't see this, press F4, um, and you'll find it. Um, this is all solids are adjustment layers, just with this um, thing selected, the adjustment layer switch. So. Now we have our bleach bypass. And we can also add a vignette to that if we wanted and save that as a preset as well. And I've actually already done that. If I go to my user presets, um, my vignette is there. And I accidentally added it. See, when you, I just made a mistake there. Once you, when you click, when you have a layer selected and you double click, it'll add it to that layer. So just let me delete that and add the vignette separately. And it's very subtle. We can crank this up a little bit more. Uh, but the way I, add, I make vignettes is I just uh, generate a circle, uh, invert it, and set the radius to 1080p or 720p, whatever you're using, and then adjust the opacity. So that's pretty simple, and you can save that the exact same way. Um, wow, this was really fast. I got through that pretty easily, and it's a, a pretty simple, pretty easy effect. Um, you don't have to buy any external things. I know Magic Bullet is really good, um, and I use them actually a lot. But I was trying to figure out a way at work to make a bleach bypass um, without Magic Bullet because they didn't have it installed. And uh, this is the way that I figured out how to do it. And I hope you liked it. If you want some more tutorials, please let me know. I'll be making some later on. Um, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.